Hello everyone and welcome back into our latest challenge on this channel. So let's start with this, you know, for a moment. I've, been, as you already know, I, if you are a fan or a subscriber, you already, you already know that I've, I've been away from this channel for like three or four days because I've been sick, really hard sick, as you have seen in my previous live video. I completed the live video, but unfortunately, at the end, I. I couldn't speak anymore. My throat was in a was infected and in affected in a bad way. And I've spent my weekend in hospitals, doctor offices, taking pills and medicines, and you know, add, adding salt to the injury. Unfortunately, my internet also was was broken the whole weekend. So it was it was the mo the most horrible weekend ever. Unfortunately, but fortunately today my internet started working again and. As you can hear, my voice is not 100% cure, but I can speak normally, hopefully. Um, Alright, so this, uh, you know, I've talked too much about myself, so let's talk about the new challenge. Uh, but before we continue with this video, I want to, of course, enjoy the video. And if you want to part participate in this challenge, if you want to submit your own car, uh, you need to add my Discord, the link in the description below. Just view the rule, view the rules, and when you decide to participate, make your car, and I will tell you how to how to send it to me at the end of the video. So, uh, all right. So this is the uh, this is the mid-engine sports car challenge, as uh, because I've I've, re I've received on my Discord uh, channel today a cool uh, suggestions, a good suggestion for a mid-engine sports car challenge. So the rules are: first, I'm not gonna show you my my specs here, so I because so you, no one can copy me. Yes, of course, you can see the. The wheel, the wheel and the chassis and everything, but you, you cannot see the numbers and that's what I want because lately, in the latest challenge, a lot of the cars were actually were actually copying me. Some of the cars were really, really copying hard and I don't want to see that anymore. I want to see your own effort, not my effort. I don't want to see my car again. I want to see your effort of making your car. So, the first rule, which is the most important rule, is the year production or production year. It should be 2020. If you can see it behind these temps, uh, all right. And also, the second most important rule is that your car should be only mid-engine, no rear engine, no front engine, only mid-engine. That means the engine should, should sit in the middle. And the third, what first, second, third. All right. So third, uh, fourth, whatever the rule is, uh, should be rear-wheel drive only, no front-wheel drive, no all-wheel drive, no 4x4, only rear-wheel drive. Now moving on to the material section, no expensive materials like no carbon fiber or no glued aluminium. Yes, you can use aluminium or aluminum, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I, I've already chosen aluminium, so my chassis on this beast here uses a aluminium semi-space frame with aluminium panels. So you can use aluminium, but don't use carbon fiber as, as a building material. Uh, for example, as a chassis material, as rim material, anything that you can choose carbon fiber on it is forbidden. It's against the rules. If I see any, any carbon fiber in the material options, I would disqualify the car or any expensive option like glued aluminium because the adhesive uh, that the company uses to glue the aluminium panels is very, very expensive. That's why no glued aluminium and no uh, carbon fiber. And of course, it's very obvious, no fiberglass because viper, fiberglass is extremely unsafe when it comes to accidents. That's why these, these three materials, fiberglass, uh, carbon fiber, and glued aluminium are forbidden. Now, moving on. You can choose any chassis you want, any engine you want, and yes, I'm not kidding, any engine you want, and that means any engine. I'm not kidding, any engine, any engine material, uh, uh, any any top end, any bottom end, yes, any bottom end. If you want to use titanium, you can use titanium. But remember, you have you have a cost limit and you have a production limit at the end of the video. I'm gonna tell you that. So if you choose those expensive materials, you will end up maybe over the limit. So you have to be careful and pay extremely attention to the price limit. All right. So uh, moving on, any engine, any, ch any chassis, any gearbox. You can go manual. You can go automatic. You can go sequential. You can go dual clutch. It's up to you, my friend. Uh, moving on, any regular tire. That means no racing tires, no semi-slick tires. You, you can go sport. You can go medium. You can go hard, long life tires, and of course, no off-road tires. So, I mean, come on, this is a sports car. You can't use off-road tires here. Moving on. Uh, the suspension, 
uh, the suspension to the suspension design you can use any suspension you want but also you need to be careful about the production limit and the engineering time you need to for example you, you can use push rods if you want you can use mcpherson strut you can use double wishbone any option you want as you can see my car is running right now on mcpherson struts which is the cheapest and the most affordable and the most you know regularly practical suspension uh, design that's why I have chosen this because it's cheap to mend, it's cheap to manufacture, and it works perfectly. Uh, so you can choose any suspension design you want. Now, the most important rule here, uh, and a lot of the cars I think will get disqualified because of this rule, which is your car should be realistic. I'm not, uh, yes, realistic. That means no crazy things. I don't want to see exhaust coming out of, of here or here. Or, uh, or you know, crazy looking ugly vents. No, I want to see perfection. Imagine yourself as an engineer for a company that you want to design a car. So you have to pay attention like a rear view camera, the badging, the sensors, re uh, you know, backing sensors, vents to cool the, the mid engine mounted because the engine is in the middle, you need to cool it. So you need to have vents to channel the air. Maybe on, maybe on top, maybe on the side, it's up to you. And, and vents also to channel and to make the hot air to exit. So pay attention to every single little, little detail. The badging, the door handles, the, uh, the wipers. The wipers are extremely important. And these are not modded. You can find them in the miscellaneous section when it comes to fixtures. So yeah, pay attention to everything. Uh, any single mistake and the car will get disqualified. This time I'm not, I'm not gonna go easy because I'm so happy to announce that we are right now running with 1,500 subscribers. Th thank you so much guys from all of my heart. So 1,500 subscribers that means a lot of cars and I can't allow all the cars. That's me. That means the rules should be very very harsh and very hard so any any sling, single little mistake and the car will, they will get disqualified like if you forget the fuel filler cap if, if you forget any little detail so imagine yourself as a real engineer right get into the get into the game and give me something perfect so as i've mentioned before carbon fiber is not allowed as a building material right is not allowed as a chassis or rim material but if you want to use carbon fiber as a cosmetic uh, as a cosmetic you know uh, material like for example the side mirrors or the trim trim material yes you can use carbon fiber here or for example the rear diffuser the rear diffuser or the exhaust housing yes you can use carbon fiber here but no no carbon fiber in the in the building in the building material yes so uh, yes that's all for now now let's move on now what we have next is the t or we've spoken about the tires and uh, yes the tires so yes no no carbon fiber rim material and no racing tires uh, the brakes you can use any braking you want and please make sure that your brakes are balanced please make sure your brake brakes are balanced because if your brakes are not balanced on a rear wheel drive car that means the whole car will not handle perfectly and that will get your car to, to get disqualified so please Pay attention. Uh, the aerodynamics. You can use any aerodynamics you want, any aerodynamics option. You can go semi, fully clad, aerodynamics, downforce, anything you want. Go nuts. And of course, okay, make everything and tune everything to perfection. Interior. You can use any interior you want. Basic, standard, premium, sport, luxury. It's up to you. You are the engineer. You should decide which interior you should choose. And uh, this uh, driving aids and the safety. Also, you can use any driving aids you want and uh, any uh, and any safe option you want. But please don't choose the non option. The non option, the non option is not allowed. You need to have some sort of of a driving aid and some sort of a safety equipment. Remember that. Uh, suspension tune. You can use any suspension tune you want, but please the springs no hydromatic and no air suspension uh, no air springs no hydromatic or you know the hydro whatever they call it and no air springs these two options are for luxurious cars or some sort of vehicles but not a mid-engine car i don't want to see no air and no hydromatic springs the now the testing all right so we have we have we have you know we have reached this area as you can see these are my my current uh, specs on the vehicle 400 horsepower 
uh, two and a half liter inline five aluminium engine, dual overhead camshaft, 20 valves, 10.2 to 1 compression ratio. It's, of course, it's turbocharged, uh, direct injection, and it's very, very efficient 23.52% uh, on the fuel, fuel efficiency. Uh, the weight the weight of the car is 1.25 tons, which is lightweight actually. It's not really it's not really heavy. McPherson start uh, manual six speed gearbox, uh, mid mid engine transverse rear wheel drive semi space frame chassis, two door two seats, perfect. Now, the most important bit in the build, which is the market. This is where your car will be determined or you know sold. So the market or the country, the country is this country, hits hit hits Visia. Yes, this one. Hits Visia, you choose this one, and then select 50% margin. Yes, my friends, 50% margin. So your limits are uh, let's see the uh, the car production limit your this is your limit 125 on the production units the engineering time should be 50 50 is your limit not 42 it should be 50 and 125 here your price limit should be less than thirty thousand dollars less than 30k with 50 percent margin so if you if your car is more expensive than uh, 30k it will be disqualified now this is a new rule that I want to include in the video, which is affordab aff affordability. So your premium or not premium, so your, your market, your, your targeted market is the track, uh, is the track market. You know, pin it so you can so you can you know view what's your result on it. And of course, with 50% market and this price, and your your affordability should be above 75%. Don't give me a car that the, the this market cannot cannot you know cannot afford. Give me a car with 75% uh, affordability. And uh, well, the winner of the challenge, of course, will be the the car with the with the highest points here. I want to see extremely high points here. So my car is doing 108.6. So it's okay. Don't I no, don't care about this. I want you to go higher. So the winner of this challenge will get. Uh, it, it's the car with the highest. With the highest, uh, with the highest market point, with the high, with the, with the highest liking points here on the track market section here. So how I'm how I'm gonna test the challenge? How I'm gonna how I'm gonna test? You know, for example, 30 cars, 40 cars, or something. So since the market affordability is a little bit high, and I need to test only the highest, the highest cars with the highest points here, I'm gonna only test. 10 cars only so the highest the, so the top 10 cars with the highest points remember that the top 10 cars with the highest liking liking points the these will be tested and driven on beam and drive i'm not gonna drive the 50 cars or 100 cars no i'm gonna only drive the top 10 cars so the top 10 cars with the highest points on the track market with 50 percent margin and correct specs all the way and the correct price or the material cost these 10 cars will be tested right now these uh, now this section here this section the the these points will give you like extra credit and extra you know favorable blah, favorable by me which is of course more drivability points more sportiness point if your car is more comfortable it's better it's more sp more sporty of course it's more better it's it's better in every single way uh, so pay attention to the points here and of course of course your car should be efficient because this car should be also used on the street so you don't want to fill it every five minutes so make sure that your car get above uh, 25 miles per gallon and of course you know give me high points like give me a safe car a drivable car a sports car and a little bit comfortable car like above above 10 will be perfect and of course prestigious prestigious car and uh, of course reliable car so yeah pay attention to all these points i know that there are extremely a lot a lot of points but i'm gonna write them down in the in the description of the video and on the uh, on the channel on the challenge rules page on discord so you don't miss it and if i forget to write any single rule please attend please pay, att pay attention and play the video again so you know so you can you know check your all of your rules because sometimes i forget to write the rules like all of them in the description so yeah forgive me about that because i'm a human i'm not a robot so yeah 
So thank you so much. I hope that you enjoy your time. So get creative, my friends, and make me some amazing cars. And as I, as I have mentioned before, only the, the top 10 cars with the highest market points will get will will get tested. So now I'm gonna move away to. Uh, so sorry, before we move, we move away, let me show you something here. So the so as you can see, this is a proper speed for a lightweight sports car. 262 so yeah get around it 250 to 70 something like this will be perfect this is the 0 to 100 time my time so yeah it's very very acceptable this is the quarter mile time and of course no brake fading my friends this is my number one rule because you want to drive around the track you don't want your brakes to fade so my car can tow like a ton this is my power to weight ratio this is the weight distribution this is my current active downforce so it's pretty good in every single way I, in my mind because I've already tested this car and now you will be testing it with me. So if you want to you know, end the video here, you can end it and go make your own car. But if you want to see this car being driven around, so stick by, stick by the video and uh, because I'm going to move right now to BeamNG.Drive. So let's move on. Alright, so we are back in BeamNG.Drive to test this little beast here. So again, if you haven't noticed, we have a 400 horsepower inline 5 engine turbo. Uh, the whole car is made from aluminium or aluminum, the body, the chassis, even the engine. All right, so let's see what's what. All right, very controllable. Very good. First, I was really, really scared to, to put like 400 horsepower in, in a rear-wheel drive car because when it, when, it, when it becomes very lightweight and you have this much horsepower, that means tons of you know overspinning and crashing. But it's very stable. I was very, it's very, very cool actually. Oops, red line. It's okay. Brakes are working perfectly. Suspension tool is amazing. Engine tool is very good. Gearbox was working perfectly. But I think I need some extra aerodynamics or, or more, more downforce on the car because on top speed it's not really stable. So I need to slow it down a little bit to so we don't crash it. Because yes, I did crash it in my practicing lab, so yeah. But like in general, around the corners, it's very, very amazing to drive. No understeer, and I want a little understeer, and no oversteer at all. Unless, of course, you are leaning way over the power around the corners. Brakes are working perfectly. So you can knock it down to first without worrying about, you know, spinning out and crash. But of course, you need to be gentle with, with the throttle. This is not an all-wheel drive car, so yeah, if you if you are a little crazy with it and you are pushing the throttle a long, you know, a long way on, on every corner, that means a lot of oversteer. So you need to be very, very gentle, but not but, but not not as gentle as like a 700 horsepower. Oh my God! Oops. So yeah, as I've mentioned, you need to be very careful. And as you can see, it's very durable, the suspension is still intact. Yes, we have invented the suspension every way. And not much damage actually to uh, to report. Alright, so as you can see, the engine is very torquic. You can start with third gear, you can start with any gear you want, it's okay. So, and since this is a rear-wheel drive beast, that means... Yes, donut time. Not only donut time, also burning out time, so you can do a burnout also. No, not, not, not this kind, of course. Alright, there you go. Perfect. So yeah, you can have fun with this car, you can drive it like anywhere you want, it's really good and that's why all these rules like you have seen in the previous 
in the previous like scene in an automation game like like the market the affordability and everything so let's go to the uh, to the hunting section and test this little beast I'm shifting up to see how the gearbox will cope so it's not really a commuting car but good it's efficient actually, I don't, I don't know if you have noticed, so this car can do like 28 miles per gallon. So it's pretty good actually. Here we go, the handling circuit. Let's see what's what. Hopefully we will not crash here. Trying to keep it off, to keep it off, you know, off the grass. are very grippy which is good oops a little, a little off so yeah you need, to, you need to be careful like what sort of speed yeah what sort of speed you need to attack the corner too much speed it will understeer too little speed it will go slower so second gear all the way if you want to keep it on the tire, uh, sorry, on the on the tarmac, it's good actually. It may look it may look boring, it may look boring to you, but like if, there, if this was a like a, a clipped film, like cinematic cameras and everything, it would look awesome. Sticks to the ground very nicely. Under steers a little bit on that corner. I don't know why. Oh my god! Yeah. So this, is, as I've mentioned before, the steering is extra sensitive. That's why. I, that's why sometimes I prefer hydraulic steering instead of electric because hydraulic is not really sensitive as electric. Fun actually. It's been a while since uh, since I played automation since I've been sick. So Oof. for a moment I thought, oh my god, I lost my touch, but it's good. Car is very stable. Ish. Of course, it's rear-wheel drive. That's why it's not really stable, as you as we have seen and we have tested in a lot of cars in, in the past. Rear-wheel drive from automation game to BMG dot drive is not really the best option. All-wheel drive, you know, has been our, our friend for a long time because with all-wheel drive you can you can control the power and you have that mechanical grip that you never have here. In, with, a, with a real drive car but the car is really working very well as I've mentioned a little extra downforce on top will cure that the brakes are not overheating at all which is a plus one the engine is actually very nicely tuned the, the, the turbo kicks in at 2500 rpm all the way to 8300 but the red line is 8400 so yes we have extra 100 rpm of nonsense so yeah I hope that you enjoy this video I, I, I'm sure that you, you I'm sure that I enjoyed the video so much testing this little beast here as you can see the engine is idling at 780 so it's idling very quietly the car is looking very beautiful yeah I like it it's very angry and attacking from the front very sensible from the side and uh, of course sporty with a down with the, with the diffuser as you can see with the diffuser which gives the car extra attacking points so thank you so much for watching so get creative don't forget the rules and of course if you if you if, if i forget something if i forget to write something in the 
description or on the Discord channel. Uh, on the Discord, you know, so uh, Discord rules channel. Um, just replay the video again and see what I, what I what did I forget or if you have any question, ask me in the comments or on the Discord channel on the Discord page. So if you want to submit your file, if you want to submit your file, of course, as always, get, press the summary and export your .car file and just press the link in the description below for my Discord. You will get added automatically. Just press the link and submit your .car file in the submitting channel only, on the submitting page only. And um, the deadline, so the deadline, I haven't actually, I haven't actually thought of that. I've, I've wrote everything on my, on my paper. But since today is Sunday, the 30th of September, I'm gonna give you like, let's say two days, 48 hours. So right now, right now it's 6 p.m plus 3 GMT time, that's my time. So as always, uh, today is uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So Tuesday, 6 p.m. Yes, Tuesday, my friend. So Tuesday, let me write it down, Tuesday. Tuesday, 6 p.m. plus 3 GMT time. That's my local time. So plus 3 GMT time, uh, that the, the challenge will finish and I will not accept any extra cars. So thank you so much guys for watching, don't forget to hit that like button, get subscribed, share the video and of course watch my previous videos. So thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now my friends.